Well, this is the airplane that's getting the fuselage transplant. It doesn't look too bad. Actually, it looks pretty good when you look at it from the outside. That's just the durethane paint job. You get to looking in the inside, and there's some there's some rust back there in the tail and the lower longerons. I had it apart once before and cleaned it up inside in the belly and repainted some of the stuff, but uh, that's been six, seven years ago now. So this one's got to come apart. It's been a pretty nice airplane, but 15 years in salt water takes its toll on things. So now here's the Cub Crafters baggage compartment door. See that. Uh, is not quite the same door as the one on the new air new fuselage. The squared instrument panel from Cub Crafters. It looks pretty nice, but it's not going to fit in the other air fuselage because it's wider. And uh, the side panels, I'll have to take them out and see if they'll fit. That's the old floorboards. So there's a cover over this hole down here where the elevator cable goes through. And uh, those uh, reliefs in there on the uh, engine pads, engine mount pads, they look about like mine, the ones I did. And um, can't really see it. Oh, there's, yeah, the cutout for that V brace is almost the same. And we've got uh, the steel plates on there for heel pads, and those cover up the holes for the for the uh, brakes. Um, it helps hopefully keep crap from going down underneath the floor, but there's still some under there. See, I made a plate in there for behind that uh, standoff, that uh, uh, bearing for the torque tube uh, to cover up that hole. And uh, this is something I didn't put in there. Was, uh, those things weren't there on that new fuselage, they made a mistake and didn't put them on there, but that's the aileron pulleys, um, lower aileron pulleys. The brackets aren't on, didn't get welded on that new fuselage. Old baggage compartment, there's the floor, or the bottom of the seat, um, and then the baggage compartment, floor, and then aft baggage compartment back there. You can see the Dog leg is on this side on that one. I don't know if you can see it behind that cover or not, but a smaller baggage compartment there. And then we put in a little one back there, um, back of that, to put the ELT and some of the radios in. And that's kind of what I'm going to do with the, the new fuselage, is just cover that up pretty much the same way. So I don't think. I don't know how much of this uh, interior paneling can uh, get uh, put in the new airplane, but we're working on uh, building, a, making a template for that instrument panel, and uh, I kind of come up against a little uh, question, so I come over to measure. I use this one for uh, to see how far out and stuff it go comparatively. Um, speaking so I come over to and checked it out well it was kind of hard to get an exact measurement on the corners of that uh, instrument panel where it comes out there to the outside edge so well, we've got to take this thing apart anyway so I started taking it apart uh, took the windshield out so that I could get in there and and see better where those corners were how that instrument panel was made and uh, comes right out to just about to where those uh, brackets are welded on for the uh, uh, to protect the um, stuff that goes up that door post there that window post so anyway I got that figured out and it laid out so now I can cut it out um, but I went ahead and did a few more things I took some panels out inside there um, got a start at that uh, took some of the couple of the panels out and seats, just the seat covers actually. I'll probably go ahead and take that front seat out because that has to be taken out uh, to put in the other one, but it also has to be modified to put the uh, battery in it because there's going to be an under seat battery box in the airplane when we're done with it. So, 
and we got the fuel drained out of it so we can take the start taking the wings off and dis disconnecting the wings um, I've got this uh, wing not disassembled but I got the wing root off of it and everything and so we can get in there and work on it on this side um, disconnect the cables and stuff and I got the um, side panels off on uh, on that side on the on the front and uh, both sides here on the right side and the left side and uh, back to the baggage compartment took all the screws out of these um, I pulled the ELT out see right back in there is the compartment we built a few years ago for the ELT to sit in and uh, I pulled it out and uh, turned it off put it away and I should have done that a long time ago same with the battery I pulled it out and uh, put it away I've got the retractable the seat belt harness for the front seat taken out and you can see how that uh, um, mounts up there it just uh, mounted into this uh, uh, gingerbread this little former up here just screwed into it and then this fabric comes over that there's a main cross tube here a couple of clamps here for the hole down for the uh, shoulder harness so uh, I have to get some measurements and measure how far down that comes um, then it uh, covers up the cables and everything uh, the flap cable and in all of that there which is uh, I like that now down here is uh, this is an Atlee Dodge um, baggage compartment extended baggage compartment it goes back there quite a ways and it's uh, narrow it's not as wide as the fuselage there oh it's not as big as the ones that they're putting in cub crafters but that's the Atlee Dodge one I've got it pretty much ready to come out of there but I've got to drill out those pop roots that uh, for that uh, uh, trim piece on the rear baggage compartment in the baggage compartment um, drill that out and take it off before I can get these two side panels off and then and then we can take the uh, the rear baggage compartment out and it's got to slide backwards it's got uh, two little hooks on either side of it in the back on the top that they're kind of like a j-hook and uh, they're uh, the cutout for them is towards the front so it slides backwards and then it pushes up and then those two uh, hooks slide forward over one of the cross tubes in the fuselage and I think reading the uh, the STC instructions for the uh, baggage compartment you have to weld that cross tube in um, for the STC so it has to be done when the airplanes apart I've got uh, this uh, cover here over the the window, and it's kind of froze in there. That stuff, uh, the the metal on the fuselage uh, gets rusty and swells up, and the aluminum gets a little corrosion in it and swells up, and and then uh, it's a pretty tight fit in there anyway. And then it's almost impossible to get those out of there. So I've got to get that out of, out of there. That uh, I used a little putty knife to slide in and out of the groove between them to try to loosen it up and so I'll have to work on that some more and maybe squirt some ACF 50 or something in there to get it to loosen up but, uh, um, anyway you can see some pretty good rust that's going to be hard probably getting that uh, D channel for that baggage compartment out of there because that's pretty rusty and, and got some corrosion in it too this is the seat um, the back seat and it, it hinges on that uh, rear, it still took it out but it hinges on that rear baggage compartment floor you can see it's a quarter inch piece of plywood then there's uh, under seat storage there which is a plastic tray and uh, here was where the battery box was it still is, the battery's out of it though and uh, over there is the fuel pump. We got a line coming up through the bottom of the um, baggage tray 
from the belly tank into the fuel pump and then out of the fuel pump and up the side wall and it goes up and hooks into the fuel tank on the left side. And we got a uh, STC from Atley Dodge to remove the rear seat controls and there wasn't really any instructions for that um, but uh, I built this uh, there's a whole bunch of openings in here and crap got down all over the place in the belly of the airplane and uh, um, so I built that little uh, um, black um, shield there to keep stuff from going down underneath the seat and then I put those uh, UHMW blocks on there to block up the holes there where the rudder pedals uh, what rudder control cables went through and then by taking the uh, rudder cables out here in the front seat that created a spot where the cables kind of come down straight from the, the, the main rudder pedals up there under the front and they kind of came down straight so I built these little um, UHMW blocks which we put up on the side panel to uh, route the cables over to the side a little bit more and to fare them out so that they uh, didn't uh, run right down the way otherwise it had to take the baggage compartment out and everything else it run straight but to get them to back to the angle they were should have been for when the uh, rear rudder pedals are in we had to do this so and it worked pretty good well, there's the uh, rear baggage compartment panels or I should say the baggage compartment panels not the rear baggage compartment panels I got those out he said I had to uh, drill out those rivets around that opening for the rear baggage compartment and uh, to get them to get it to come out to get that panel to come off and once I got those out and off and I was able to snake this this is the extended baggage this is the Atley Dodge extended baggage compartment um, you can see there's the lip that uh, rivets into the uh, baggage compartment rear and there's a little notch out for the um, dog leg and uh, here's those little uh, hooks and these um, go back and then come up and then pull forward and slide over a cross piece that's welded into the fuselage back there um, for that purpose and I got the headliner out of there I had a heck of a time with the headliner because the uh, channel for the uh, rear windows is of course rusty and you can see this uh, channel this molding here um, for the headliner um, is also corroded a little bit so it was swollen up and it wouldn't come out plus it fits in there pretty tight so what I did now I've had this out before but I just had the the top of the baggage compartment out and you can see there where it was been riveted back in so I had drilled those rivets out once before and uh, and then pop rivet them all back in together um, but I didn't take this uh, the side panels out because they were in the window Well, so this time I had to get the whole thing out what I did is I drilled out the rivets for this right hand side panel and once I got it out I was able to get enough mo movement on it to uh, to get this left hand side panel out from the window and I took the the windows out first and uh, that made a big difference uh, once the windows came out and that was a heck of a time getting them out because again the channel was all rusted up on that on both sides and and swelled up so they didn't want to come out too bad but this is the headliner and uh, it's just held in well you can see some screws there or holes there on the where the side panels um, screw into it and then on the back um, there's some holes there um, yeah two two spots there where the rear panel screws into nut plates in the back of the um, baggage compartment between the baggage compartment and the aft baggage compartment and then uh, up here 
There's a, pa a plate that goes over the top of this to cover it up that screws into one of the formers up on top of the airplane there and then it comes down underneath and screws into the um, headliner right there. So it's kind of a challenge, a tight spot. It fits in there pretty tight but it's nice. Uh, um, it uh, covers up all of the uh, all of the hardware back here and uh, there's the back windows um, and they're actually come out uh, now they're tinted a little bit and I didn't want tinted windows I want clear windows because uh, we need the nice clear to be able to see to see fish but uh, anyway they're in pretty good shape they're crazing a little bit you can see a little bit of crazing in them but otherwise they're in good shape and they came out of there uh, good considering how um, corroded up everything was and uh, so they'll make good patterns for new windows so looking in the airplane now it's starting to open up in here now we can really see how things and that's kind of what I wanted. I wanted to be able to see how things went so I could see how to put the other one together. And uh, so we can see that real well in there. And uh, also, well, you can see the upper baggage compartment that we made. It's just basically a radio rack. And now it's opened all up. Um, but you can see there's not really much access to that. That fuel line comes down on that side and goes across there. And then comes down this side to the um, fuel uh, valve, and then uh, the uh, elevator, or not elevator, the uh, um, flap cable goes up that side through a pulley down there, and then uh, through a pulley up there on the top of that X brace or that brace, and then comes out and forks there, and comes up and uh, splits off to either wing. Now those pulleys are in really good shape, so uh, those are, are nice. Um, but I need to look in the belly there, and that's what I wanted to see. Uh, and I, I could see it through the inspection covers and, and could see it was in kind of bad shape. And um, It's hard to tell on the longer ons, so fabric covers them up, and it's kind of rusty, dirty looking anyway. But you can see some pitting, some swelling underneath the fabric in places. But in those cross diagonal members and, and uh, cross members, uh, they're definitely pretty bad. And you get all the way back into the back there, and it just gets worse, especially on the lower ones. The upper longer ones and the upper cross members aren't quite as bad. But they're still pretty rusty. And the tower's pretty good back there, but down underneath the tower, um, it's hard to say how bad it is till you get back there and start poking around in it, maybe sandblast it and get it cleaned up. But it's pretty nasty. So it would have taken me more time to uh, fix this thing up. To you'd have to strip the fabric off of it anyway, sandblast it, probably weld in some new pieces, um, and then uh, and then aluminum like that uh, lower. Um, a piece down there underneath that uh, forms the fabric that's uh, pretty corroded up that's aluminum and the side ones don't look too bad till you get way back there but anyway by the time you fool around with uh, trying to fix this thing up you've taken more time than putting a new one together see that pulley bracket right there is uh, you see where the pulleys have been rubbing back and forth on it. It looks like it's probably turned a little bit, but it's pretty, pretty cruddy. So it's time.